Hey guys, okay, so I know that, um, you know, um, a lot of people are having some issues with this, so I just feel it's so important for me to go over this again, because I don't want you sitting at home or, you know, in class not sure of what to do. So I know those of you coming in are having a little bit of an easier time because um, I can help you more with this. So here we go. I'm going to start off where we left off with the, with box five, because I know that I had that video for that. And I know that I have the video going on, but I feel like um, I want to just focus again on just making those you know the um you know the angular uh free free shapes that you know that i that we talked about in the um composition because i know um you guys are having some trouble so here we go so remember to make your three shapes i want you to just take your ruler and honestly you know you're going to just take your ruler and just start turning it as long as it's angular and pretty much all that means is that you're working with straight lines Okay, and you're using your ruler, okay? We're using the ruler for this, okay? So there's one. So now let's pretend that I did three so that we can get into the perspective part of it. All right, so now we have our three, okay? So I'm gonna start with this one here. Remember, you wanna make sure that I have some of you who are not using your vanishing point. You have to use your vanishing point. Your vanishing point is key. And if we just recap, do you see how all of these are going to the vanishing point? They need to go to the vanishing point. So if I take my ruler, you can see that all of these have to go to the vanishing point they must if you don't it's not going to be right i have some of you who are on the side of your forms you're making these lines here go off in crazy directions you can't do that okay so you want to make sure if you do it right you should be able to take your ruler and just you know drag it all the way around and it should hit you know um the vanishing point every time so now let's jump to here wherever two lines come together that's what that's um that's where you're going to bring your converging line. You're going to take your converging line and bring it to the vanishing point. So you see these two lines come together. So now I'm taking this. Now again, um, you could go all the way there, but now we're at a point where you guys understand you don't have to go all the way there. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit longer so that you can see. And then I'm going to come over here again where two lines come together. I'm going to line up my ruler with my vanishing point and I'm bringing the converging line there. So we have one going, two going, and now we have the third. Now what I'm noticing um, also is, again, your, your only choices are, for one point perspective, it's either going to the vanishing point or it's parallel to the side of the shape. And when I say it's parallel to the side of the shape, maybe you're not sure what that means, but I'm seeing lots of problems with these lines here. To be parallel to the side of the shape, I want you to get in the habit of starting on one side. You can't start here and jump, you know, here. You have to work your way down like this. So I'm going to start here. I want to make sure this is a little bit higher up. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to hold it to the side of the shape and I'm going to drag out. And then I'm going to make my decision how wide I want this to be. All right. So I want it that wide. I'm going to make sure that this line that I draw is parallel to this one here. And as soon as I know that it is, I can make my line. And then I can erase the extra converging line. Now you can see I went down here, right? Oh, actually, do you know, do you see the mistake I made here? Good, I'm happy this happened. I overlooked this one. I need to draw this line. Look at two lines come together here. So that's, there's a converging line that needs to be here. So I, again, look at, I overlook that because I'm here trying to draw, like looking into my phone here. So this has to be there. So you see, so converging line, converging line, converging line, converging line. And now we're going to continue. I'm going to make sure that this line is parallel to the side of the shape. And I'm going to, again, make sure, take my time to do that. So now I have my parallel line. You can see this line is parallel to this. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna take my ruler, line it up with the side of the shape. But now, because I started here, I know how far I need to bring it. I'm gonna make sure that I bring it up to that line there where it meets with the line that I just drew here, okay? And then I can go ahead and erase. I feel like this is probably the most confusing part because you wanna, and that's why I was saying you wanna start on one side and work your way across. If you don't, you're gonna wind up having some issues. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring this here as well. All right, and now we have this shape. This shape is finished, okay? And then you can erase 
you can go ahead and erase any extra, you know, little lines that you have here or there. So this one is done. Again, the lines are going to the vanishing point, your converging lines, and the other lines are parallel to the side of the shape, parallel to the side of the shape, parallel to the side of the shape. And then we're going to continue. We'll jump over here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead, take my ruler, line it up with the vanishing point and where two lines come together and start making my converging lines. I'm going to do the same thing here, line it up here, converging lines, and here as well. Those two come together, line it up with my point, converging lines. Okay, so now I have my converging lines here. Okay, now I'm going to make my parallel lines. I take my ruler, I line up my ruler right with this side of the shape and I drag down and I decide how wide I want this to be. I think I want it that wide. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. I'm going to do, I can go ahead and erase this now or later. And now I'm going to do the same thing here. Parallel to the side of the shape and drag out. And here we go. Okay, and there we have it. All right, so now we have two shapes finished. And again, always make sure that those converging lines are going to the vanishing point.